Welcome to our channel. This is Maria and this is Romy. In this video, we'd like to share with you our experience in a boutique cellar in Hunter Valley to taste their wine. But first, let's take a walk between the grapevines. Let's go. Grapes here on Saturday, so um, it's um, a good time to come. Mm, this one looks good. Oh, right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, got the grapes. Wow. Mm. So that's as big as you could grow. Um, pretty big. Um, so there, that's, that's a general looking sort of Shiraz grape. Mm -hmm. um, they all look a little bit different. Um, so Shiraz is very elongated. Mm. Um, Chardonnay grapes could look a little bit more clustered. Yeah. Where yeah. Shiraz is a bit more longer. Longer. Mm. Right. Can you taste mm. it? Uh, yep, this mm. is a good time to taste as well. Good, good grape it, yeah. there. Do you want to taste as well? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Thank you. Mm. Oh, it's nice. Mm. But it's different mm. from what you buy in the shop. So, so the ones in the shops, um, table grapes, mm. Are usually seedless. Yes. These ones have They've seeds. Seeds, yeah. Yep. Um, seeds give flavour to the wine as well. Oh. Um, but yeah, so seedless ones uh, from the shops, what they do is uh, they're seedless and then they water the grapes like a lot. Mm. Make them really big, really watery. Mm. And that's what makes them taste easy to eat because they're mm. all just full of water. Yeah. These ones, we don't water as much. We want them actually. Um, Really, small. really small. Right. Because they have more flavour. Mm. Um, it has more of the juice than mm. water. Mm. That makes sense. Mm. So there's a secret making a bigger grapes. Yeah. yeah. So it's natural. just water. This is, this is more of a natural one, and it works well because we're more in a dry region or a drought region. Mm. If it mm. rained, if it kept raining, that would be like a bad year for us because it oh. gets big and watery. Yeah. Mm. It rained a lot this time, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, not too bad. Yeah. Um, we've had a lot more rain the year before. Mm. So. Mm. But yeah, I'll take it back to the basics. Yeah. So this is um, a grapevine. Um, originally, before humans took over it, um, a grapevine was a tree vine. It would uh, climb, as, wrap around a tree, mm. climb as high as it can to the sun, mm. get its leaves up there near the sun, mm. and then it would create these grapes, these berries. Right. Um, colourful and full of sugar. So birds would actually come along, eat yep. the grape, mm. eat the seed, mm. fly away, yep. pull out the seed, yep. and then another vine would start. Right. So yeah. that's how they sort of spread across Europe mm. and uh, naturally reproduced. Mm. Uh, now what we do is we actually just cut the vine, plant the vine, cut the vine and plant the vine. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. cuttings is what we normally do now and that's how we can get them in nice straight rows right yeah yeah mm. um right. sometimes if it uh, what they do is a technique if that vine there mm. dies um sometimes you can actually just put that in the ground yeah and the roots will start to grow and you cut it and right. that will be a new vine wow mm. yeah layering Yep, there's, there's that one just sitting there. It's already planted. But yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how they uh, do yeah. lighting or just yeah. plant a new vine. Yeah. It really wants to grow, so yeah. um, it's not hard. Okay. But it's not yeah. like, uh, like grafting on a... Grafting's older, a little bit older. different. Grafting's different. Um, that's where they cut the vine, usually with a chainsaw with mm -hmm. these ones, um, and then they just stick on another vine with... Uh, duct tape and glue and that mm. kind of stuff mm. and they actually uh yeah start to grow together mm. Mm. but yeah um got the roots in there getting all the nutrients in the water uh bringing that up the trunk of the vine the trunk of the vine then um pulls it into its two arms um, it can create all these arms but we like to only have two mm -hmm. which is one going that way one going that way mm -hmm. and then in our uh, spring september uh, those arms burst open and these canes, these laterals, these new ones start to grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They create the leaves 
Mm -hmm. And then in about summer, which is, um, you know, December kind of for us, mm -hmm. you'll start to see uh, the grapes start to grow. Ah, so that will grow on, the, on those on ones. On those canes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So they don't grow really on the arms. Mm. Um, they burst open, leaves and canes. Mm. And that's where you'll actually start to, um, if I show you this. Canes. Ah, oh, right. So the canes start to grow up. Right. Okay. The fruit. Right. Okay, yeah. and then uh, you cut that after picking? Yes, or? so uh, after we pick all the grapes, mm. uh, we leave the, the canes and the leaves on the vine mm. until all the leaves uh, fall off. Right, uh, okay. Because when the leaves are on there, it's, uh, it's still working. Mm. The vine is still dragging the nutrients and all the water mm. up here. Mm -hmm. But instead of going into the grapes, mm. it actually stores it in there. All right. Okay. So um, when it comes around to spring, uh, it's got no leaves to, to turn on. It's using its stored energy mm. to first open. Right. So that's why we do that. If we cut it off too early, it wouldn't store the energy. Mm. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, from good. planting to harvesting, so how long? Um, mm. It takes about five years for a great vine, cane to turn into uh, a vine to produce good enough fruit. Five years. Yeah. Five years, yep. So it takes mm. a while, but um, yeah, so picking the grapes now, uh, usually white grapes are a bit quicker to make into wine, which could be, you know, three months, two months. Uh, you could possibly, and to get it bottled and all that sort mm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a quicker one, but Shiraz could be a year, two years to become bottled wine. Mm. So how is mm. this aging now? Uh, mm. um, every wine's a little bit different, but yeah, sometimes you can age wines 10 to 15 years mm -hmm. uh, in the bottle. Mm. Mm. Very good. That's Very all right. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah, so this is all Shiraz here. Uh, but we have a lot more down there, which is, um, you know, more Rieslings and more white grapes and stuff like that. Right. Um, yes. A little bit different color. Not yes. Not um, also, say I've got to say is this is um, yeah purple in color, mm -hmm. but they all every grape starts out green. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they're all green. So this one started green. Yes, yes. A, green there. a little bit of green one there, mm. sort of died off. I didn't mm. make it, um, but they all start out green and then they turn this purpley color in uh, January, basically mm -hmm. uh, January February. It's called Veraison. Mm. So they're all green in color. And then, yeah, they turn uh, to this purple color, the, mm. the red grapes. Mm. But the white grapes, they just stay green. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. But Shiraz uh, only comes from this type of grapes. Yeah. So the Shiraz grapes are, are, are this. So the Shiraz grape vine creates the Shiraz grapes. Right. Which creates mm -hmm. the Shiraz. Yeah, wine. Yes. Yeah. So that's how we do it. We name it after the grapes, um, yes. but in France they could name it after their region. Right. Like for example when you have rosé, which is a mix of... Uh, no, no, so right. that's a common myth. Um, actually rosé is, uh, it can be made from this. Mm -hmm. um, all it is, is, um, so you got the, the skin of the grape, which has colour, mm -hmm. but inside the skin, the juice, that's clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's when the juice touches the skin, Mm. It actually turns pink. Right. Oh. Or if you leave them together for a very long time, the skin and the juice all mix like that. That's make when it starts to go red. Mush. Mm. Make it when you mush. Yeah. Right. So all the juice is clear. Right. Um, mm -hmm. and it's not a specific uh, grape. No. It? <laughs> it's not a not a grape. It's not two blended together like a white grape and a red grape. Mm -hmm. It can just be red grapes to mm. make that pink one mm. or that rosé. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just how long the grape skin is just mm. touching the juice. Mm. Ah, very good. Yeah. Very good. But yeah, this is a um, yeah, 2016 Semillon. That's the number two on the list there. Very nice. Late harvest Riesling. So this one we pick a little bit later. Um, the grapes actually gain a little bit more sugar, and that's what makes it a little bit more sweeter. It's sweet, but I like pineapple. It's sweet. Sweet, yeah. yeah. Fruity. Sweet. Hmm. Each grape tastes a little bit different. 
Um, and we think this one kind of tastes a little bit more like pineapples or passion fruit. Mm, that's very really nice. Yeah. I can drink this. Yeah. <laughs> this is your favourite so far? Yeah. Yeah. Like this. this is our most popular wine. This is yeah. what we sell the most like of. This. Yeah, you're not going to find that grape really anywhere else yeah. in the Hunter yeah. Valley. We're the only ones doing that grape. Yeah, Riesling's a bit smaller grapes. Mm. Uh, really nice. 2011 Reserve yeah. Shiraz. Wow. 2011. That's that's. Yeah, age. it's uh, 12 years old. 12 years so old. So the longer. And that's not 50. Um, what really happens easy. is. Uh, sometimes we make wines really, really big, really, really strong, mm -hmm. and then we uh, age them softer and softer and softer. Mm -hmm. So you still get those really dark fruits, like those blackberries and plums, mm -hmm. uh, that you normally get from a really big wine, but it's uh, the aftertaste is smoother and softer. Right. So, um, yeah, they do uh, go off eventually, so if you age them too much, uh, they'll start to get flavours you don't want, mm. like vinegar and stuff like that. Mm. Um, so yeah, you just um, you got to just uh, check the bottles every now and again. So what's long? What's too long? We put 10 to 15 years on um, our Shirazes, our reserve Shirazes. Okay, so we have Rosé. Mm -hmm. Now like I said out there in the vineyard, it's just red grapes. Uh, we crush them up, put them in, and then we take the grape skins out. Uh, mm. If you take the grape skins out, it stops it turning red. red. Just oh. the pink. pink. Yeah. yeah. So um, we'll just do a little bit of, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit of Now you did drink some water, yeah? Yeah. So yeah, this one's a little bit different because instead of Shiraz grapes, we make it from a new grape called Nibiolo. Okay, so Nibiolo is a red grape. Mm -hmm. It's a newer one to the Hunter Valley. Um, so... And that comes from where? Italy? It's Italy, from. that's right. right. Yep. So Italy's quite hot, Hunter Valley's hot, so it likes to grow. Right. Uh, likes the heat. Oh, I like that. Mm. We're thinking about entering that into a few competitions. Yeah. We think it's a competition wine, mm. like a trophy, trophy wine. It's it's easy to drink. Very easy, it's and very it's not easy. too sweet. Yeah. Sometimes the rosés they make yeah. them really yeah. sweet. Uh, this one's a bit drier, which is nice. Um, yeah, we're a small place, so all mm. our wines are made in smaller batches. Mm. Um, and when we do that, it's sort of easier to control, mm. easier to make good wines mm. from smaller yeah. batches. Yeah. Um, we'll do this one next. Yeah. This is very different. Um, so this is not traditional, this is very new. Um, so this is uh, what we call the Bella Rossa. Right, it's this... Next one yeah. down. In the next one. Yeah, uh, Bella Rossa, yeah. yeah. Uh, so 2022, that's when we picked the grapes. Um, mm -hmm. But this one we call Bella Rossa because there's three different grapes. Mm -hmm. So there's a new grape called Sangiovese, mm -hmm. another one called Tempranillo, and the other one is Shiraz. Mm -hmm. So it's three grapes all blended together, and then we also keep this one in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Normally red wines, just at room temperature. Mm -hmm. This one is in the fridge. In the fridge. So this is a new thing, this is a new style. Yeah. This one we want to overpower that rosé. Um, this is our second most popular wine. Mm. Very popular here. So the popular one is the Shiraz, uh, the Riesling, yeah. and then this one. Sweet. Between the two. It's quite it's sweet. sweet. You like this one a bit more? Between yeah. which one? Between the two. Um, Overall, it is a very good experience. The walk was informative and the wine tasting was superb. Thanks for coming along and hope you like it and learn something about the cultivation and harvesting of grapes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we will be honored if you will be one of our subscribers. Once again, thank you. See you in our next video. Bye for now. See you later. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. That's okay. Yeah. Um...